Hello everybody, my name is RV Last and welcome back to another game of Persono Where we last left off, we're kind of a okay -ish, maybe? I don't know what this game is all about <laughs> I have no idea what the hell this game is all about anymore Oh, it's controls, okay Apparently WASD doesn't work in this game Okay, whatever Okay, shift is to go faster, got it Alright, what the hell are we supposed to do? Should we go to sleep? Sleep early? Yeah, sure. Why not? Useless went to bed early. Your magic has increased. What? Okay, that's a thing. Date, 416. Sake's gonna die. Sake's gonna die. Afternoon. You can overhear two students talking. When I look by, I could see three police cars driving by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? Only a bunch of people yelling, total bullshit, right? Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they, des uh, they decided to have a school assembly all of a sudden. All these typos. Oh, well, whatever. It's not like I can speak perfect English. Hey, what's the matter, Yusuke? Were you traumatized by a little old discovering a foggy Satan dimension that may tie in a murder co into a murder case? No, I'm fine. It's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The assembly is about to begin. I don't even know what accents I gave these guys. I regret to say that I have terrible nas for for you all. One of our third year students, Miss Saki Konishi, has passed away. Oh, <gasps> passed away? Ugh. She was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are still under investigation by the police. If they ask you for their cooperation, I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. How could the found dead? How could this happen? Internalized crying. <laughs> the principal's announcements continue. Oh boy. My hair's messy. Oh well. Yeah, bros. They say they found Saki's body in the same way they found the announcer's body. Yeah, but this one was hanging from an antenna. But this one was hanging from a telephone pole, Paul. Paul. Okay, what? Oh. Yeah. Last time, last time, this was hanging. That, but that, I think that, I think that this, it was a that thing, but whatever. It's not like, this probably was just a rust job. A rust job? Rush job? This one was hanging from itself on Paul. It's so creepy. It must be a serial murder case. Probably is. I don't know. Hey, did you see the Midnight Channel yesterday? No, sorry, I was not. I was busy not being phased in the slightest by finding a Satan world within a TV. Well, something about it was bothering me, so I went to look at it again last night. And the girl on the screen was Saki Senpai. What? Are you sure? The image was clearer this time. I'm positive it was her. She looked like she was in immense pain, and then she just vanished off the screen. It's got a neat thinking. I heard some guy who was excited that the that announcer lady was his soulmate. It's got a neat thinking. Saki was found in the same way as that announcer, right? I overheard some guy who was excited that announcer lady was his soulmate. That could mean that Mr. Yamano was on the Midnight Channel before she died, just like Saki. I think you just repeated yourself twice there. So, are you saying that people will appear on the Midnight Channel before they die? Can't say it for sure, but there is enough evidence that I can't just dismiss it as coincidence. Plus, remember what that bear said? About how someone was throwing people into that world, and how that world gets dangerous when the fog lifts. Okay, Yosuke, this. Oh, shh. What am I clicking that makes that thing fast forward? I'm not clicking anything. Don't you think there's a connection here? That the world in the TV has something to do with the announcer and Saki's death? I don't know what the hell I'm clicking here. That <laughs> well, it's not often that film studios in the middle of nowhere don't have something to do with murder. There is a connection. Then there is a good bet both of them went to, to into that world, which would explain that room with all the posters. Which would mean, if we were looked around, to look around that room, we might be able to. F th that we might be able to. That has to do with senpai. That doesn't say anything. Wait, are you seriously suggesting we go back into that place? Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. Uh, Yosuke, I don't think it's really worth it. So what if some chick you wanted to bone died? It happens all the time. Yeah, right. Swaggity swag swag. Useless swaggy thing. 
Shut the hell up! She wasn't just some chick I wanted to fuck. You just, you don't know anything about me or her. You're just some dick who wears sunglasses indoors. Whoa, calm down, Yosuke. Ow. Oh, oh crap, I'm sorry. I'm just really shaking by senpai's death. Can't handle people talking about her like that. You've got a lot of nerve punching someone who could kick your ass into a TV for the rest of time. <laughs> and I respect that. Let's get in. Let's go into the TV after school. Don't do this. It's too risky. Look, if I'm off base with this, it's fine. But I need to do this for myself. Come if you're coming. You agreed to meet Yosuke at the Juness Electrics Isle Electronics Isle after school. I can't even say it. The window's too tiny for me. After school. Electronics department. That that. Oh hey, you came. You came to stop you two idiots. Look, I understand how you feel, but it's too dangerous. You might not be able to find that bear and escape this time. Oh, we probably will. I know, but come on, person. Wait, 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 blah, 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 blah. Useless. She, she following. Go, go, go. <laughs> Fuck it. I was trying to read that. That's too realistic for an RPG maker. <laughs> oh well. So, hmm. Ow. Damn it, still not easy on the ass. Hello. Hey, it's this place again. So they are connected from place to place. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Uh, excuse me. Oh, I get it now. You're the ones behind all this. Hey, you're that thing from last time. Wait, did you just... What did you just say? Lately, I can tell that someone from your side has been kicking people into this world. And it's messing this world up more and more. This is the second time you guys have gotten in here, and it doesn't look like anyone punched you in here. Making you the most suspicious. You must be the one throwing people in here. What? You're the most suspicious one here. You're some freak in a bear costume running around this hellish record recording studio. What do you mean by throwing people in here? Someone got thrown in here and they couldn't get out. Then they die. Who the hell is doing such a... Wait a minute. People are being thrown in here. Could he mean senpai and that announcer? No shit, Sherlock. They have names, you know. Did that someone throw them in here to kill them? If this world is as dangerous as that bear says it is, could somebody be using this world as a weapon? What are you guys mumbling about? Why did you come here a second time? Wasn't it obvious the first time you came here that there is no way out? Yeah, that's why we want you to make an exit for us. Why should I? You're the ones who have been kicking people into this world and disturbing my peace and quiet. They have proof you aren't the ones throwing people in here. For the last time, it's not us. We have nothing to prove to you. And you better answer our questions. This isn't the last, like last time when we came here by accident. This is serious. People have died in our world. Seems like every time it gets foggy somewhere, it turn, turns up dead. Do you know anything about this? A dead body? Whenever fog shows up? Well, all I know is that when it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts in here. But it's real dangerous when the fog lifts. The shadows get really angry. What? When it's foggy on our side, the fog lifts and then shadows get angry? What is this place anyway? What does it look like a TV studio? Snuff films? Can you, can you quit the deep web references already? This d doesn't have the shit. This doesn't have shit to do with the internet. Don't try to change me, young man. Wait, is that weird mi midnight channel thing being filmed here? Huh? Midnight channel filming. This world has always looked like this. Nobody's done any of that filming. I already said the only things here are me and the shadows. Yeah, we don't know what you are. What these shadows are? You're making, you're making as much sense as an LSD ho trip hosted by Suda Fifty One. Good old pseudo 51. Maybe you're the one throwing people in here and now you're just acting all innocent. Me? The one doing all this? I would never do such a thing. I just want to live here in peace and quiet. Oh, really? Look, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and believe you're not the ones doing all this, but I want you to find the real culprit. Promise me or else. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Well, not much we can do. Oh, you have to stop him. If you don't, then my home here will be a complete mess. You just have to stop him. Hey, it's a nice deal. Ah, what do you think we should do, useless? Well, either we, uh, help, we, either we help catch this dick, or you get to spend. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll help you find the culprit. Uh, thank you. Damn, we are practicing and holding a gun to our heads. Though it's true, we came here to figure things out. Though so far we're completely in the dark. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanaruma, and this here is useless Narukami. What about you, Teddy? Heh, <laughs> figures. So, how do you intend to find this culprit? We don't even know where to start looking. I don't know. Though I don't know where the last person came in, 
The last person? You mean Saki? I don't know, maybe? It's not like I know everyone's names. I could take you there if you want. Yes, please do. Hey, but first, take off that damn fursuit. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Take off that damn brick suit and show us your face. It was nothing. What are you doing? It was nothing. Holy crap. He's empty. How does this even work? This is like some something out of some shitty Australian exclusive family fantasy show for kids. I'm not getting the reference. Here's her head back, you creepy little shit. Hey, you were the one who removed it. Not his fault. Hey, you mind not doing that? I'm very self-conscious about my head. Uh, okay. Can you just take us to where... Can you just take us to where the last person in here ended up? Okay! But first, take these. Teddy hands out a pair of glasses to you and Yosuke. Hey, what are these for? Put them on and see. It's clear! Whoa! <laughs> the difference is like night and day. <laughs> glasses within glasses. Glasses sep glassception. <laughs> uh, I don't think mine are working. Man, what, with these on, it's like the fog doesn't even exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. I've been here a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but if worst comes to worst, you'll have to defend yourselves. Wait, what happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters or cosmic demons from beyond the stars. There are. Well, I'm not saying there won't be any. There pr just probably won't be. Now let's go. Oh boy. Persona, persona, persona. Hey, this looks like the shopping district in Inaba. And by damn, they've gotten down to a T. Including all the waste, but of all places in town, why the shopping district? I should I know? This place is reality for the one who's here. Teddy, can you speak in something other than crypting last words from a dying family member in a shitty paranormal mystery novel? <laughs> hey, there's Saki Senpais! So, do we get to fight shadows already? This is the liquor store Saki's parents run! Does this mean she disappeared here? What could have happened? And... Wait a second! They're here! What? The shadows! I just knew they were going to be attack. <gasps> hi! Oh, hi! They even replicated that. What the hell are those? Well, we're boned. I guess that'll be a good time to go smoking. What the hell? I am thou, thou art I. The time has come. Smoke weed? Are we smoking weed? <laughs> Basically, Dai should probably go to try crushing that card if Dai wants to survive. Also, Dai should not say Persona while it's doing it. It will make Dai super look cool. It will also look good on the trailer. Hey, don't get better with me, bad voice. There's a blank playing card resting in your hand. So I just crush it. Hi, Izanagi. Hey, copyright. I can't say that. That's copyright! Sexy! <laughs> hey, that's copyright! Watch out! Here they come! Pepper Liberation merged. Useless was victorious! 400 EXP received! 16 dub found! Level 4, Rakukaha learned! Yay, Rakukaha! Gee, that was a violent death. Whoa, what was that? What did you do? You think I could do it? And what was that thing you said? Purse owner or something? Purse owner. <laughs> Calm down, Yosuke. You're an annoying sensei. Sensei? What, he just kills a bunch of otherworldly demons and saves our lives and he's suddenly your sensei? Yes? The word you're looking for is senpai. Oh, thanks for the correction. Well, anyway, let's not get let the fact that there's some big guy with a flat cap, flat cap and a pipe wrench living inside of useless phase us and get back to the investigation. Let's head into this big old red room. We don't have to fear Cthulhu tearing us a new asshole with their new thingy. That's true. Maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of that now. Oh, hello. A voice echoes from somewhere. I wish Juness would go under. It's all because of that store. W what the hell? Oh, good old Juness. Oh, I heard Kunisha's daughter is working at that place. Oh, my. Does she feel guilty that she's killing her family's business? H hey, shut up! That poor father. To have his own daughter work for the enemy. What a troublesome child. 
Good old rumors, good old retail. Hey, Ted, you said this place was reality for those that are in here? I still don't know what that means. Elaborate. Well, uh, I guess this would have been that Saki person's reality when she entered here. I'm not sure. I don't know what uh, uh, about what's over here. A man's voice begins to yell. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? You've heard what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Damn it all! Generational bullshit! I, I can't believe this. She looked like she had, had fun at work. She never said any of this to me. Well, of course she wouldn't. You're the, you're the son of the manager. Of course she wouldn't. Maybe it's because she didn't like your cleaning, cleaning the ass. No, it can't be that. This place is just bullshitting us. What the hell does Stevie World know anyway? Oh, a lot of things. Hey, this is a photo of me and Sakitu with a, other part-timers at Juness. Why did she cut up like this? A familiar voice rings over the area. I never had the chance to tell. I never had the chance to tell Hanachan. Hey, is that Senpai's voice? How much of a pain in the ass he was! I was only nice to him because I was the manager's son. But pain in the ass. Fucking skill! I fucking called it, you Yosuke. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me, and the neighbors talk behind my back. We should all just disappear. 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 A pair or something. No, it can't, this can't be true. Senpai is like that. There's no way useless is right. I don't know. A voice that sounds almost like Yosuke begins to talk. I don't know about that. I would trust useless at this point. It's so sad. Life is just so hard when you feel this sorry for yourself. Hi. The truth is, I'm the one who thinks everything is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Hi, Yosuke. T two Yosukes? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, right. You would never think anything like that. How long are you going to keep lying to yourself? I am you. I know everything about you. Every thought you've ever had. Every horrible action you've ever committed. I've seen it all. <laughs> hey, screw off. You don't know shit about me. Oh, yeah? How about the time you stole those sunflower seeds from the garden shop as a kid? Hey, I would not have never do something as horrible as that. Or that time you ordered pizza and only tipped the guy 5%. S Stop it! Shut the hell up! Oh shit, uh, also, something about how you hate living in the shitty town and something people. Uh, and something about an act of being carefree so people will like you? Oh, and also you use Saki's death as an excuse to go into the TV world and do something interesting. Or something else stupid like that. 5% tip, Yosuke. 5%! Sh shut up! 5%! Damn it, Yosuke! You can't do that! Sh shut up already! Man, why so panicked? I thought I was just spitting out bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why is that? Because I am you. Shut up! There's no way you're me, you son of a bitch! Yeah, that's right. I am me now! <laughs> Hi. Don't worry, Yosuke. I'll stop this otherworldly demon. Shh. Shadow Yosuke emerged. Engaged. Uh, Persona skills. Raku Kaja. As you know. This is Atlas. I don't trust this. Boom. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Useless, stop! That's the wrong Yosuke! Huh? What? Oh! Oh! How awkward. <laughs> oh! The bad Yosuke is the one with the shiny eyes! <laughs> Oops! Wrong! Hi, Muppet! What the hell? Kermit, what the hell are you doing here? Useless. I heard you're not subscribed to the Muppet YouTube channel. No, no. How do you know? I mean, I am subscribed to the Muppet YouTube channel. There is a Muppet YouTube channel? I didn't know this. Probably. Uh, sorry. Ow! That, that. Why are you not getting stunned? 
Don't make me shove the rainbow connection up your ass, useless! Ow! Oh shit. Hey, Sensei, remember that if a fight looks like you're going to take a serious hit, then you can always try guarding to use reduce the damage. We'll even stop you from being stunned if you are hit with an element an ally is weak to, but since you're a special snowflake, you're not weak to any elements. Oh, thank you! By the way, this is your obvious cue to guard. Uh, how do I guard? There you go. How do I guard? Ow. There we go. Ha ha! I got ya. Oh, I can scroll down there. Holy crap, is this... Is this the one from, uh... This is the one from is a oh the golden one I forgot uh, this is the one from Marie this is the one from Marie probably Rakuka huh there we go ha ha ow oh I wanna use this. Boom! Take that shoot, bitch! <laughs> Useless was victorious. 200 EXP, received 100 dub found. Hey, I got 400 last time. What the hell? That thing came from Yosuke. He has to admit it, or we'll just go berserk again. Nah, he's cool. Except nothing. Yosuke accepts you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yosuke has faced, faced, faced him, his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The Persona Jiraiya. Oh, hey Sensei, I think Yosuke is dead. Yeah, we should probably leave. <laughs> Bye, Yosuke. You guys came back! The, the nerve of you guys! You're such morons! I can't believe you actually did it! Wait, is Yosuke alright? Yeah, he's alright. He's A-OK. -okay. Oh yeah, that! I got in a fight with Yosuke's doppelganger, who turned out to be actually be a cosmic frogman from beyond the stars. He uh, got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> By that, I mean I used the golf club to beat the shit out of him. It's an accident. <laughs> huh. I can see that happening. Yep. Wanna help me drag him to the hospital? Okay. Thank you, Chie. I love you. You're probably gonna have your. You explain happen everything that happened to you <laughs> within the TV to you, Chie. As you drag Yosuke's slim body behind, that's probably gonna happen the same thing to you, Chie. Just saying right now. You'll have Yosuke outside the hospital and begin to walk home. Oh, hey there, Yukiko. Oh, hi, useless. Hi, Yukiko. Oh, sup, Yukiho. Don't call me that. Hey, yo, Yukiho. Oh, you probably aren't used to seeing me like this. Oh, man. My parents see me out. Uh, I guess you look hot. You look sexual in that kimono, Yuki. Uh, still as I'm front as ever, I see. Do I get you something? So, uh, there's a reason you're sitting in here in the rain doing nothing. Not really, I'm just taking a short break. So, are you getting used to this town? Yeah, this town is better than I expected. Oh, well, that's good. I've never been out of, to of Inaba, so I can't relate to moving to a new town. Oh, I need to go now. The inn can't function without me right now. Uh, so yeah, it's cool then. Bye. You decided to stop standing in the rain like a moron and go home. Yeah. Sure. Why don't you have an umbrella anyway, useless? Hey, yo. What's up? I forgot I can go fast. Gotta go fast there. Hey, Nadako. Is there anything in here? Nadako's watching a news report. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Let's see if we can get an interview with her. Excuse me! Yukiko's on TV, working, wearing a kimono. Huh? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, uh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though, that aside, wow, you're looking hot, gorgeous in that kimono. You must have a lot of male visitors. Um, uh, mom, it's happening again! <laughs> That's late. 
I saw there was another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Don't worry, Nanako. I'm your father now. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. Aww. You helped Nanako do several chores around the house. She seems to be very reliable for her age. I don't want to be an ass around Nanako. What the hell? Why the hell would I do that? That'd be horrifying. Oh, can I not do anything? Oh, I'm a hot teenage boy alone in his room. What do I do? Stare at TV sh Stare at a shut off TV. Fuck. Fuck indeed. Oh, great. Here we go. There's a girl on the screen. She appears to be wearing kimono, but the image is too blurry to make out any other major details. Oh, great. I wonder who it is. I wonder who it could be. Fuck indeed. Fuck it. <laughs> 417. How long is this game anyway? The site said it's only two hours, but I feel like this is more than two hours now. After school. Hey, yo. Uh, hey, useless? Have you seen Yukiko at school today? She hasn't been here in a while. Nope. Though I did hear that she was temporarily managing, managing the inn, so she's probably dead. Hey, remember how yesterday talk, Yosuke talked about how he, th he thinks people who appear in the Midnight Channel end up dead? Well, last night, the girl on the Midnight Channel, it was Yukiko. I've tried emailing it and calling, but she hasn't responded. I called her yesterday, it said she was going to come to school. I... So she's probably dead. <laughs> Don't even go there! Well, Father Yosuke was the... But what if... The... What if... Well, if... What if... Yosuke theorized was correct, then she's probably been thrown into TV. And is dead. Pretty much. No, don't talk like that. Uh, uh, you can go into TV, right? Can't you, like, see if she's in there? No? Fine. I'll go see if she's alive. Nagging broad, all concerned about her friend's safety. <laughs> Why is the text so small on those things? Oh man. Oh, so this time I'm all alone? I don't have Yosuke this time? So what are you trying to do? I'm going to communicate with a furry who lives inside the TV. He'll know if anyone is inside. <laughs> Teddy, you sexy sloth. Is anyone in there? <laughs> Don't maybe come in there. Whoa, calm down, Sensei. What do you want? Hot women, Teddy. Are there any hot women in there? Well, as far as I can tell, nobody's been thrown in here. He looks quite barren. Oh, good God. Quit it with a punch, you furry little freak. Are you sure nobody is in? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Oh, boy. So it seems she's not in there. Have you actually tried, like, calling her, maybe visiting her, to make sure she's in dead, even though she probably is? Come to think of it, I did only call once. Damn it! <laughs> I'll, I'll try calling her now. Damn it, Chie! Damn it! Oh, is this Yukiko? Seriously? Thank God, Yuki. Yuki. You're okay. Man, I'm such a whore. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, it was nothing. Bye. There you go. Ah, she was just over then. She had a big group yes reservation, so she had to help out. <laughs> but just to be sure, I'll make sure to visit her tonight and warn her. Oh yeah, have you been have you been to see Yosuke? Oh yeah, I went to see him before school. How the hell do you cut someone's face off at a golf club? It happens. Oh, it happens. You decide to head home. <laughs> <laughs> poor Yosuke. Poor, poor Yosuke. Evening. The Jima Residence. My god. How long is this game? Fuck it. Whatever. Hey, Nanako! Best not to disturb her. But I want to disturb her. You can't, you can't decide to... You can't decide my life. Damn it. Fine. It's raining tonight. Will someone appear on the Melee channel? No. Probably. You never said you want to go to bed. This is boring. I'm just going to think about weird shit. I wonder why there are two control keys. I don't know, maybe for lefties and righties? I mean, two shifties I could understand, but nobody uses that little right key to control key. I feel bad for it, almost. Yeah, that's, he's kind of right, actually. Nobody uses the right control key. I haven't seen anybody use it, at least. There's a girl on screen. The image is much clearer now. It's clearly Yukiko. She appears to be wearing like, some kind of gown. Good evening, viewers. 
Princess Yukiko has a big surprise tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. I can't, I can't do the voice. H hot stud? Like me? Yes, please. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for a Prince Charming. S sexy? Like me? And I can't prepare. I got my lazy and mentionable song stuck from bottom to the top. Wait, what? That's probably top to bottom, but whatever. Whoa, are those titties? <laughs> oh, I'm destroyed internally. <laughs> you are useless as fuck. Hello? Useless. Did you see the Midnight Channel? How did you get this number? Th that was clearly Yukiko, but... She would never say things like scoring myself a hot stud. How? Why? C calm down, Chie. People have done weirder stuff for money. I know she wouldn't do something like this. And on the Midnight Channel, no less. I've been trying to call her, but she isn't picking up. Maybe because you're calling her at 12 a.m., you freak. M maybe. But last week, victims appeared on the Midnight Channel, and now they're... L look. Yosuke should have his face new, new face by tomorrow. Let me have a gymnast to my food court. New face? We'll try to figure out what we can do. I'll try to get in contact with Yuki. New face? You decide to head to bed. I want to see this new face. What is this new face? 418. This game is long as fuck, as usual. I wonder if there will be a time skip. At your juniors. Hey there, you. Hey, useless. I'm back. Aren't I glad to see you? Oh, hey, partner. I'm not your partner! Aww. Aww. So how's that new face breaking in? It's going great. Since everyone's around here, it's such a blandly perfect face. It wasn't hard to find a face donor, I guess. Aww. Oh yeah, about that other me. Everything it said, it was true. Steady said it came from me. A deep part of me which I like to believe doesn't exist. But I know it's there. The part of me that tips 5% and it <laughs> Damn it, Yosuke, you cannot tip 5%. Also, there's a big, like a big frog man living inside of you now, by the way. Sweet! So about Yuki appearing on the Midnight Channel? It's pretty hot, right? Yeah. But... We're gonna need to look into this new, in the TV world. We can't just let someone, someone we know, fall victim to these killings. Though we can't know for sure she's been kidnapped yet. Looking into that TV world is our best bet. And I found some stuff in the closet at home we can use. Oh no! I don't even wanna go there! Screw that bullshit! See, we've got our purse owners, but a golf club isn't reliable of a backup one. Oh, hell yes, it is reliable. Not, I'm, that's why I'm getting both of these and you're keeping the golf club. Oh. <gasps> hey, what are you kids doing? Uh, uh, not committing a double murder and possible kidnapping? You kids are gonna need to come with me. Whoa, calm down, they aren't even real. Are you even a police officer? Wait, hey, Adachi, Toro Adachi? I haven't seen you in years. What? What? Wait, what, 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 what? Don't you remember? We used to bootleg informational com informational commercial products guys. Like that slap chop, the X-Hose. Oh, oh, remember that guy who cut up? Hey, not so loud, damn it! I didn't even read that last part, come on, stop scrolling the text like that. The Gmail already beats my ass. Okay, okay, uh, look, so the laws are real, I'll re re just let the kids off with a warning, okay? In return, you keep your mouth shut. Now, just don't get into any trouble, okay? What the hell are we talking about? Now, I'll just have to confiscate these, just in case, okay? Yeah, give me that. You kids have a good murder-free day and stay out of any more trouble. The police are- Oh, crap, what am I- s Damn it! I'm not even- I'm not even fast-forwarding the, the, the text! I'm not! I was not even pressing- I was not pressing any of- anything. I don't know why the game keeps on, uh, doing that. Wait, you think I was actually gone missing? Look, uh, just keep your mouth- Nose out of any police business. I'm sure your friend will turn up safe and sound. Because I'm working on the case, and I'm a cool guy. Uh, damn. I've already said too much. Bye, Mr. Murderer. God damn. Back to being a golf club toting assholes. But more importantly, Yukiko seems to actually be missing. Hey, yo. Uh, what are you guys doing just sitting around when Yukiko is mortal, in mortal danger? Can't find Yukiko anywhere after she appears on the TV show that has an eerie habit of predicting who gets her corpse strung up like a Christmas decoration. And you're just sitting here? You can't just run around jumping into TVs without some kind of plan, eh? Almost got arrested by just by sitting here with looking at some replica weapons. 
Wait, you almost got arrested? For replica weapons? How do you live with yourselves? I know a place we can get some real weapons. Real ones. Good ones too. They'll look real nice when being 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 confiscated from you as you sit in the back of a police car. They'll look real nice being being confiscated from you as you sit in the back of a police car. I don't know why you repeated that, but whatever. What the fuck? Here we are. What? What kind of shop is this? I don't know. Metal works or something. They sell weapons and crap. Is this even illegal? Who cares? Here are a thousand dubbed yen. Pick whatever you like. I will be waiting at Julius. Well, wait. You're going to the TV. No way. It's too risky. Hey, I can't hold on my own in a battle. I'm a master of both slams and jams. If you want to... Oh, wait. You took that one. Yeah, but they don't have purse owners like us. Who cares? It's just a massive frog living inside you or something. What the heck is this music? This must be copyrighted. Sorry if it's muted, guys, because, yeah, it's copyrighted. I don't want to get into trouble with that. Oh, money, money, money. I didn't even realize this money, money, money. Gah! I'll keep an eye on her. Useless. You just buy her equipment. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna... Hmm? Come to admire my fine arts and craftsmanship. Mutation katana. That, 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 that. What the hell is this? Oh, this is the small shop devoting to sp fine, fine fast food. You're not allowed to buy any. What the hell? Why? Why? You don't see mega stores keeping the shop in his way. It's just alive as ever. Tunes doesn't sell illegal weaponry. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey. Welcome. Please buy a lot. Oh, the medicine shop. Thank you. This is the same point, I guess. There we go. Well, I can't interact with that, apparently. Oh, oh yeah? Well, uh... You're false and homosexual. Did he hear me? He didn't hear me. In the steam of this is the yeah, let's go. Da -da -da, after day, yay! Da -da -da. No, okay. Hey, why are you guys in your school uniforms? It's Sunday. The same reason you are? You accidentally left all your other clothes in the train? Actually, we were just using these uniforms as a way to hide the massive amounts of illegal weapons we are carrying. You can just hide it under your regular clothes. No, shut up! We can't! Fine. Hey, she's not too good. I'm going, and that's final. Why do you guys. Fine, just stay behind us. Don't tell me what to do, Yosuke. If any monsters show up, I'll just slam dunk their TV world butts. Damn it. Let's just go in already. Alright, your call, Yosuke. Whoa, that was weird. There we go. Much, much better. Please play the music. Please play the music. Please play the music. Oh, wait. They won't play the music just yet. Never mind. What am I talking about? Uh, are we interrupting something? No, I'm just thinking about stuff like where they're control to control keys on a keyboard. But mostly, I've been just thinking about myself. Well, I want to stress over things too much. You're you are basically just completely hollow living first. Ah, hey, that's very offensive. You berries bear, you berries birch. Uh, I suppose you do have a point. I try and try, but barely anything has come of it. Guys, not is not the time. Not now is not the time for horrible jokes. Wait. 
Barely. I just got it. Ooh, barely. I get it too. Wow, Teddy, you are great at jokes. Uh, uh, anyway, someone came in yesterday, right? Yeah. It felt like somebody has been shortly after the, shortly after the last time I talked with Sensei. Wow, your room is of good nose on you, miss. Uh, miss, my name is actually Chie, but this isn't about me. It's about that somebody who got thrown in here. Is that somebody, Yuki-chan? I wanna know. I didn't even check. Of course, he wouldn't. Though, the presence feels like it's coming from this way, so that's probably where that Yuki-chan person is. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah, ready as we can ever be. Castle. Yay. Leroy Jenkins, here we go. What? What? A castle? Isn't there where Yukiko was on that midnight show last time? Probably, yeah. Maybe this midnight program is something that's giving people on your side a worry to look into this world? Teddy, are you positive that nobody's... Fuck it! Come on! I don't even press anything! But Yuki was appearing on it before she disappeared? How does that make any sense? Besides, she would never say anything like scoring with a hot stud. Damn it! None of this makes any sense! Is the controller... Ow! I think I know what's going on. No, it's not. Maybe? What? That should make it even less sense. So, Yukiko is in that castle? Certainly feels like she's in there. Well, if that's the case... I'm copy Yuki-chan, my little friend! Hey, don't go in there alone, you idiot! I sense there are a lot of shadows in there. It'll be very dangerous for a girl to be all alone in there. Ah, oh, crap. We better follow her. So I have no idea why the control... Hey, Sensei, how does one score with a hot stud? Interesting question there, Teddy. It is a very long and easy process. I can explain it all to you in due time. Okay. Damn, that basketball-loving hum bumblefuck. Why the hell does she have to risk her life like this? We gotta go save her, dude. Well, I can't save, apparently. No more! No I can't even save here, why? What you gonna do when... Yosuke hates useless and the world hates Yosuke. <laughs> Seems legit. Sure ready to enter the Let's go! Boom, 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 boom. You should guys should be careful. There are shadows crawling around here. If we catch you, you'll have to fight them. Though there are some shadows who will just ram and randoms. Be careful. Oh, hey! This is interesting. I hold up. I reach out to the truth of my last name. Oh, my Ow. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh, I get to actually do for everybody. I got it, I got it. That makes more sense now. Ow. Oh, damn it all. Oh shit! Why did I guard? Why did I guard? Why did I guard? All my last things. Oh, the whole moment to not break away. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, fuck me. I'm dead. I'm dead! I'm dead. Oh, thank you. What? Really, Yosuke? Come on. Ow! <coughs> My god, this game's hard, actually. Fuck me! 
Oh man, I'm bad. I'm bad at this game. Holy crap, that was pretty hard actually, admittedly enough. The damage is actually pretty bad at that game. But anyway. <coughs> but anyway guys, I'm gonna end that video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the other videos I've done in the description down below. Or at the annotations at the end of this video. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Comment, subscribe. Push every single button you see down there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So long. Bye-bye.